is this one hurts my feelings a little because I'm actually a pretty big DeSantis fan. And well, he uh he got caught. He used he used fake images of Trump kissing and hugging uh Fauci, and they're clearly fakes. Um, I haven't heard any any rebuttal yet on it. I haven't heard his response if he's come out and said, you know, he's denied any any personal uh, responsibility for it, if he's trying to blame someone. I haven't heard anything, so I don't know if that's happened yet. I don't know if they're just waiting for the dust to settle. But these are clear. If you look at these images, I don't have them up here and I don't I don't want to find them. So uh, sorry. <laughs> um but if you look at the images, you'll see that they are clear fakes. Um so and this is something okay this is something that he wasn't doing that I actually liked that he wasn't doing he wasn't really attacking Trump he was allowing Trump to attack him and realistically the attacks how can you attack a governor that's been doing a great job you know and in the state that Trump lives in like it's it was already bizarre that Trump was attacking DeSantis um I know it's his MO you know he's he's that's what he's going to do in order to, to you know to bolster himself he's got to put the other guy down but I don't understand it because all he has to do is just go on his good policies when he was president. You know, focus on the good, try and try and deny or you know, um, scathe off the bad, like his uh, his COVID uh, policies and things like that that weren't any good. Um, just push that aside and you know, just don't go into this slander shit. But looks like DeSantis is falling into it too. It's it, it's like this. It's this weird thing that happens. It's um, it's as if these guys, they run for president, and then they get these, they get these campaign managers, they get these uh, these personnel to run to run their campaigns completely, and and these people are like, it's almost like they're in the deep state, you know, like they've been around so long, they've been running these campaigns. Oh, I ran this, I ran the campaign for Obama, and I ran it for Clinton, and I ran it for, I ran, I ran, you know, I've been running them for 40, 50 years. And they listen to these clowns because because of their quote unquote track record. But I think I think these uh, campaign managers are designed to kind of make the the candidate like they they do things to make the candidate look bad at times. Like in for example, this this, this doesn't do anything for DeSantis at all. Running these slander, slander campaigns on Trump that aren't even true. You know, you could he could easily just say things that, you know, he could just say Trump's a bully. He could say Trump is, you know, he could just point out the things that that's real Trump and say, you know, do you want this guy in there? Or do you want somebody who's a little more level headed? There's so many different ways that DeSantis could go about his his um, his run without going into the into this going into the pit. We'll say going you know, getting into the dirt with uh, with Trump. So that's why I don't know. I at first. He wasn't doing it. Now suddenly he's doing it. Uh, you know, don't let these don't let these campaign managers run your campaign. You, I, I think, I don't know. Like I said, I think there's some nefarious uh, ends on, um, on this. I think some of them are doing this on purpose. You know, they, they, maybe they play both sides or or whatever. But uh, this doesn't this doesn't bode well for DeSantis. And I, I think that uh, unfortunately, I think this is gonna this long long term, I think this will actually hurt his campaign. So, and again, like I said, I'm a, I'm a fan of DeSantis, so I really I really hope that he can rule off this, or at least you know, say something to the fact that you know maybe not necessarily sorry, but you know that it wasn't his intention to run this kind of campaign. But we'll see we'll see how it goes.